Prince Harry and Meghan Markle find themselves in a state of concern as Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds take a playful jab at their recent New York City car chase. The renowned Hollywood stars, whose collective net worth nears $500 million, were spotted in New York City, strolling casually without bodyguards or an entourage, making the royal couple's antics appear rather absurd. On his 55th birthday, Hugh Jackman, accompanied by close friends Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds, opted for a relaxed walk through the streets of the Big Apple. Their attire was notably unpretentious, emphasizing the stark contrast between their down-to-earth demeanor and the conspicuous actions of Harry and Meghan. While Hugh Jackman sported a casual look with an Under Armour tracksuit, sneakers, a navy hat, and sunglasses, Blake Lively showcased her chic style in a brown turtleneck sweater and classic light blue jeans. Ryan Reynolds completed the trio's understated appearance, conversing with Hugh and his wife, dressed in khaki trousers and a knit sweater featuring an embroidered cowboy motif. He complimented his ensemble with white sneakers and a gray beanie. The stark contrast between the Hollywood star's low-key outing and the Sussex's extravagant actions serves as a poignant reminder of the questionable behavior exhibited by the royal couple. Hugh Jackman Ryan Reynolds, and Blake Lively enjoyed a leisurely stroll, blending in as regular individuals. Had Blake Lively worn Meghan Markle's attention-grabbing outfit, she would have undoubtedly garnered attention. This highlights the extent to which Harry and Meghan's actions may be perceived as pretentious and disingenuous, given their years of advocating for environmental conservation. In light of their recent New York City trip, during which the Sussexes used a convoy of seven SUVs to travel to an event hosted by the Archul Foundation for World Mental Health Day, American commentator Michael Cole criticized the couple for their apparent hypocrisy. While the couple has long been vocal about the urgency of addressing global warming, their choice of gas cars and private planes raises questions about the authenticity of their commitment to environmental causes. Michael Cole pointed out the marked disparity between the couple's car chase narrative, which was met with skepticism by many, and the New York City police chief's assertion that such an incident couldn't have occurred in the city. Cole also drew attention to the Sussex's use of an extensive convoy for a short journey, comparing it to a procession witnessed at Elvis Presley's funeral, reiterating the widespread perception of hypocrisy surrounding the royal couple's environmental stance. Furthermore, Cole highlighted the distinction between Meghan's elaborate outfit and the more subtle and appreciated approach adopted by the Princess of Wales, Kate, who was simultaneously commemorating World Mental Health Day in Birmingham. In the eyes of the public, it is now left to judge which approach resonates more profoundly. Ultimately, the playful mockery by Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds serves as a reminder of the public's growing skepticism and cynicism toward Harry and Meghan particularly concerning their purported dedication to environmental causes and their approach to public appearances. The inconspicuous nature of the Hollywood star's outing stands in stark contrast to the grandiose and attention-seeking actions of the royal couple, 